serious the story well um this morning we had to put the roofs on the vehicle and Taylor came out in her pajamas. That was quite scary. Um, <laughs> I'm just joking, I'm just joking. Taylor's going to shout at me for that. Emma and Jack, I'm trying to think. Um, uh, scariest story. I mentioned it the other day, this, the, the, the scariest story. Um, um, was was a elephant that came into our camp and we had to try to chase it out and that elephant ended up charging me and luckily luckily it stopped a few meters from me. it was very very close Emma and Jack but I must tell you a funny story I'm gonna jump off the car for this one so one day I was we were tracking a leopard myself and my friend Judas who's a tracker I used to work with and um, Judas and I were driving along we had tracks of this male leopard a big dominant male leopard that was down in the south of the game reserve um, not far from here and uh, Judas said that the, he couldn't see the tracks anymore along the road so we got off the car we walked around and we had a little look up down up the road to see if we could see the tracks we couldn't see anything walked back down the road still no sign of these leopard tracks we couldn't work out where they disappeared to and then eventually we came back and we saw this must have been for, for about five minutes eventually we saw a track very close to the front of the vehicle heading off into the bush now the guests were still sitting on the vehicle we had a number of guests with us and Judas and I then decided let's just see where these tracks go and as we took two steps away from the vehicle a male leopard jumped out of the bush he was lying there the whole time and we couldn't see him it was quite a thicket um, or thick area and he was lying flat as he could hiding in there but just watching us but because we hadn't walked towards him he was comfortable with us walking up and down the road and he didn't move but as we walked towards him he jumped out luckily for us he just gave a bit of a growl and went Burr! and then he it sounded almost it's not quite a dog bark it's a Burr! it's like a deep <laughs> <laughs> a leopard growl anyway but he ran around luckily away from us and both Judas and I kind of did one of these and jumped the guests all laughed at us they thought their, their rugged ranger and tracker a rugged ranger and tracker weren't so rugged anymore or brave and fearless and we did get a bit of a fright but luckily the leopard decided to move away and he didn't go too far he moved down into a drainage line and we got to view him we jumped back on the vehicle very quickly and we just got to we had a lovely sighting of him what was that?